What is up, everybody? This is Abundant, your friendly neighbor, and today we're going to be creating an animated banner. Now, most of you are probably going to freak out because you have, like, no idea on how to create this, but don't fret. I'll show you guys how step by step. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is you're going to want to open up your Photoshop. Uh, this can be Photoshop CS4, CS5, or CS6. The version doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using... Um, any different tools from you know anything like we're not going to be using any uh, filters or uh, animation well we will be using animation but hopefully we will be able to cover that in our next part so you're going to want to go to file new when you open Photoshop and the perfect size for an animated banner is 468 by 60 reason why is because most extreme top 100 sites or top 100 sites private server wise do not accept anything bigger than 468 by 60. There is sometimes also a KB uh, limit, meaning KB image size, 82 by uh, 3 KB. Sometimes they are actually 100 KB. So you want to make sure that when you save it, you try and save it as a very small file, but not too small. So once you have your canvas open, you're going to want to add more than just what you have. Right now, all I have is a white background. I'm going to want to add maybe a texture or a render or something. But this isn't for me. This is for Old Cruel. And if you haven't visited Old Cruel and you're a WoW player and you like private servers and you support them, then Old Cruel is the place to go. It's 335A, Instant 80, and it's PvP, and it's amazing. I tested it myself and reviewed it, and one of my close friends owns this server. Uh, the link will be in the description below. I really want you guys to check this site out. In the server out and you know just give them a chance you won't be disappointed so getting back to the tutorial we're gonna open up a texture uh, reason why I like using textures is because they're a lot uh, simpler than using um, renders or stocks I said that weird <laughs> so um, I have this right here it's a color grunge pack by I think it is freaks on Divine art if I have his name incorrect I will just fix it if not, I apologize. The link of that pack will be in the description below. I have no copyright over this. This is not my pack. Don't give credits to me. Give credits to him. Favorite on DeviantArt, give him a comment. Tell him how much you like the uh, pack. So we're going to be opening up the Grunge Layer 8, which is actually pretty sick. The reason why I picked this one is because the server I'm making the banner for is blue. It's a Wrath of Lich King, but the site, not really. Blue is more of like a chromatic, so we're going to fix that. So you're going to want to grab uh, this layer, of course, Control A, then Control C, and paste it. And then usually what I do is I close that layer out it's just so my uh, workspace doesn't get cluttered. Now we're going to want to resize that. So click on your navigational tool, make sure that Show Transform Controls are checked up at the top, then hold Shift Alt and click the edge, and just slowly drag. You don't want to go too fast because then you'll get to a small size, and you're, then it's just it's going to mess it up when you go to scale back up. So just slowly do this. And if you're actually really good with resizing and you know that you're not going to mess it up, then, you know, do it quickly. But if you're new to it, I suggest just go slowly till you find something that fits your needs. Now we're going to want to edit the color, of course. So hit Control U on the layer selected. It's going to open up your hue and saturation default window. And you're going to hit Colorize. And right now I already have a color that I want to use for the uh, banner. So I'm just going to click OK. Now, sometimes it's not going to be like that simple for you to select a color or find a color. So you'll actually have to like mess around with the settings and the hue and the saturation and the color and the dark and the brightness in order to get the perfect size color. But this is actually what I'm going for. So now I'm going to actually open up their website logo, which was given to me by the owner. Um, this will not be released because he paid a fortune for it. So I'm just going to. We're not, I'm not releasing this at all. There will not be released at all. Maybe the textile used for this video will be released, but other than that, I'm not releasing anything in this video. So, once you have your render, if you're going to use a logo for your site, or if you're going to use an actual render of something uh, close to what you are aiming for for your banner, then you know. But once you have it in everything, you're going to want to add some color corrections to get that to fit in your background. So we're going to click on the uh, the uh, adjustments tool at the bottom, and you're going to go to levels, 
and then under your levels uh, presets you won't have the adjustment one preset but if you watched most of my videos there was one that I did uh, list all my adjustments in and it, it will either be in this corner right here as an annotation or it will be in this corner right here as an annotation but if not then I will have the uh, adjustment um, the adjustment uh, settings in the description below or you can just do it so simply and pause the video right here to view all the adjustments or the, the, the settings so once you have your levels on you're actually going to want to add a little bit more than just that we're going to go to color lookup and we're going to find something in this menu that gives our whole banner a nice look right now bleach uh, not bleach but candle cube looks nice it gives that that nice feel to it so I'm gonna keep that out 100 percent and now that I really don't like the placing of that so I'm gonna place it maybe right in the center here like so and I'm actually gonna make this fade and to do this easily is just to take your eraser tool at maybe a uh, big size about 110 percent and just go above not on it like on the layer but right above it and just do it slowly like this and this will fade it in the, from the top and the bottom give it that nice feel that you're looking for so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add our text now I know I'm talking pretty fast and most of you are probably going to flip out because of this but I'm trying to fit this video into 15 to 20 minutes and if not then I'll just have to make a second part for animation but I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't come to that so you're going to want to grab your text tool you want to select a nice text and the text that uh, Rob Oh my god, Hi XD, the owner of Old Cruel, wanted me to use was, um, oh, I forgot. I think it was Tro Trajan Pro or Trojan Pro or, um, I can't really remember what font he told me to use, but I'm just going to go with my gut here and I'm going to say that we're going to use Impact because it's a nice bold font. But you actually, no, we're not going to use Impact. We're going to use Rig Bearer. The link to this will be in the description below for the, the, the uh, for the default and it's actually a free font and if you're making anything that has like uh, what let's say like it's like uh, kind of like that calligraphy type style to it then this is the perfect font to use most people disagree but I say it's one of the best so I'm actually gonna move the logo over just a little bit more so it's centered with the old and the cruel and now we're gonna actually do our text effect so you're gonna wanna open up your blending options and put it maybe right there. Now you're going to want to click drop shadow and bring it down to one and then two on the size. One on the distance size two or two on the size. Then click uh, gradient overlay and we're going to want to add two colors that basically blend perfectly. When I mean basically blend perfectly you're going to want to pick a dark color and then you're going to want to pick a color not too bright and not too dark. You want it to flow just right so I'm gonna say right there and then we're gonna add a uh, satin and we're gonna bring the color you know, the distance and the size down and then bring down the opacity and then add a color overlay to it and we're gonna add uh, a light orange and we're gonna set it to find the right setting mode for this probably not gonna work because of the color I have or the uh, adjustment layer I have but right there there we go luminosity and we'll just bring the luminosity down just a little bit like so so now we got our first per portion done so you're just gonna copy the layer style and if you have two different texts like I do old is its separate text file and cruel is its separate text file you're just gonna copy the text from or the copy of the layer style from old or from the second one to the first now we're gonna add our a our um textures so all I do is I duplicate the text and then I remove the layer style then I right click and I click on blending options again and then what I do is I under where it says blending options default I take the uh, fill opacity and I bring it down to zero then I click pattern overlay and I just mess around with the pattern and then what I do is I use one of my default ones that I have um, you're not gonna most people aren't gonna have this because it's not a uh, it's not a texture I released and it's not a texture you're gonna find on uh, you know it's not a texture you're gonna find on uh, DeviantArt so yeah and I don't think I have uh, the right to release this because the bar and the texture alone is not mine 
So we're going to copy the layer style again, and then you're going to duplicate your first text style or your text, and then remove that and just paste the other layer style on it. So there you go, you got your basic uh, banner. I'm actually going to fix this, I'm going to center this a little bit more, take uh, all three layers and just move them over like so. And um, now you're going to want to add, sorry I hit my mic there, you're going to want to add a overlay to it and what I mean by overlay I mean creating a new layer above all your adjustments then taking your rectangular re uh, marquee tool or either your elliptical marquee tool and in this tutorial I'm going to be using my elliptical and just pull it over to it hits the corners and then just right click hit fill make sure it's set to white and then deselect it should have like this white uh, marquee you know elliptical circle on your render or your background or your image wow that was, that was messed up set the image to uh, soft light and then just play around with the settings on opacity right there should be good and now we're actually going to add two more things we're going to add a stroke uh, make sure you hit control A so we'll, let me back up like two steps here I create a new layer and then I hit control A we're going to go to edit settings I mean edit stroke two pixels on the width and then set it to white deselect set that to overlay then create one more. Do the same thing, control A, but instead of using a two pixel white, we're gonna use a one pixel black or dark gray. Yeah, dark gray. And that is your banner. Uh, animation, we probably will be able to do, but we'll try. Um, I guess in this one, he wants the text to like this. Like he wants it to, uh, let me um, turn this off right there. And he wants it to like fade in, or not fade in, but he wants it to brighten up. And I'm not going to be able to do it into Photoshop due to the fact that I can't do animation in Photoshop whatsoever. So I'm going to try and do the second part for you guys. It's going to be After Effects. If you don't have After Effects, then um, you can go onto my channel under my videos. And I do have a video on there that uh, I did the animation for an avatar, which you can do the same exact animation on a banner it's nothing different but I really like doing animation in After Effects you, it comes out a lot more cleaner and you don't have to worry about having all these like rugged edges or anything like that the effects come out so much cleaner so if you guys enjoyed the video uh, you know um, just hit the like button uh, don't forget to comment subscribe and if you guys need any help just add me on Skype uh, you guys have a nice day. Bundin out.